Let's see what this teleportation potion takes us, though. I've been curious about it, though. Oh, whoops. I did the wrong button again. Let's see. What is this going to do? Oh my god, it takes us, like, straight to a... Took us straight to a heart container. Is this... In, is this a completely random area? Oh, it was. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. Huh. Let's get the flame lash out. That might be a little bit better because it has such a huge heckin' range. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. Man. Oh my god. There's another uh, heart container right there. Nice. Or life. You guys know what I mean. Life crystal. Perfect. Man, I, 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 by the way, yeah, I was also off camera. I was trying to find some mithril. Had no luck. I even had a spelunking potion or whatever there as well to help me out, but still didn't find any. I kept finding like cobalt and stuff like that, but I feel like we found like basically all the mythical in the area we've already been, so that kind of sucks. And of course, I kept finding stuff like gold, and silver, and other trash that's not really relevant nowadays, right? So that kept on fogging my uh, my peripheral of my lootometer of the spelunking potion, right? So that kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm just going to keep whipping this whole heckin' area out a little bit just to kind of clean it out of the cobwebs as well as to kind of reveal some of the ores and stuff that are around it, too, because that's kind of what this thing does. It's really, really good. It's really heckin' long range. It's crazy. Oh, I just saw some silt a moment ago. Yeah. I'm not even going to bother with the silt anymore. It's just pure trash. So, at least nowadays, so... Oh, what in the world? Oh, I think I was trying to place a torch right there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the uh, Medusa thing now. Those will have this out. Let's see what happens. There you go. Killed all those... Killing all those bats and stuff right there. Man, I think that did a great job. Hold on. Kill that bat. Yeah, look at that. It goes boom, boom, boom. It did. Oh, hold on. I'm dying. What in the world happened? But yeah, it, it does do like maybe even three shots per second or something crazy right there, you guys. Holy heck. Uh, let me keep on doing this firecracker all over the place, trying to reveal areas around here. But I'm liking this teleportation potion. Like, it took us to a completely random area we've never been before. May help me find the second mithril that I'm uh, kind of in the background just kind of looking for. Oh, I think I found another mushroom area. Yep, I found another mushroom area. I don't know what that is. Uh, I guess I would look for some mithril in the area we've already revealed and see if we could find any, but I'm not seeing any, unfortunately. Man! Whoa! Rock golem! I saw a rock golem down there, you guys! Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was hitting me right there? Is he throwing something at me? Hold on. Man, I just broke so I just broke a little bit of minecart track right there. Whatever. Let's get the, uh, the user head out. There we go, just did the 51, 28, 43 damage. Doing some damage to him, which is good, but he's doing some damage to us as well. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to get the repeater out. And you know, I'm going to shoot him. Here we go. He's got some really good armor, though. Man. I'm going to heal up again. There you go. I'm going to try and get him with the... You know, I'm getting him with the... Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. I'm trying to get, like, right up next to him. There you go. We got him right there. We killed the rock golem. Nice. Trying to kill him with the cutlass, but unfortunately that didn't work out too well. Spider fangs, stone blocks, micro drag again. A lot of hacking cobweb, of course, right? Sheesh. <laughs> As if I don't have enough of that. Sheesh. So that was pretty cool seeing a new mob like that. Let me keep, uh, let me keep exploring around here, see if I can find anything else of interest in. Hopefully some heckin' mithril. Oh yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, here was the, uh, the new mushroom biome that I was just mentioning that I found, so that's really cool. Oh, another heart container, guess I'll grab that. Yeah, I don't really know what those are, uh, for nowadays, so I'm, like, I'm grabbing them, but, like, I really don't know what I'm using them for, unfortunately, so that sucks. Hold on, is that adamantite? Yeah, found potentially adamantite up there, you guys. Hold on. Did we find adamantite before we found mithril? I think I did. Uh, yep, I did. <laughs> ah, see, look at that. The, uh, firecracker method over here to, like, reveal ores outside of uh, our, our vision range definitely does help. And I don't even need to use, like, a, uh, my, or a Spelunker's Potion or anything like that, guys. Sheesh. 26 Adamantite was at a 5 to 1 ratio, I think it was. So we got basically 5 ingots right there. Or we used, like, 13 or 12 or something like that to make the, uh... Oh, we made... Oh, we got a compass right there, but I don't really care about that. What did we... Oh, yeah, we made the repeater. We, like, we had, like, 12 or 13, uh... Uh, ingots that we had to use to, to make that mushy ladybug. I've only seen those before, so I don't think it's necessarily new. Uh, so firecracker back out. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Billy Morrows. Oh, that's the skeleton guy, I think. Yeah, it's the skeleton merchant. I think you guys said, yeah, he, he spawns in with a different name every time you see him. I think his name was like something Skellington earlier. Or, uh, like, like 10 episodes ago or something like that. I wonder what he's selling now. Definitely want to buy something from him, uh, this time around. Spelunker Glow Stick. Strange Brew. Restores 400 mana and 80 life. Holy Eric. Purple Counterweight. Format C. 46 melee damage. Maybe I'll buy that? I'll buy it. Sure, why not? That's a pretty good amount. Yo-Yo Glove. Sure, 50 gold. Purple Counterweight. I'm taking a lot of damage. Hopefully you don't die. I'm spending a lot of my money. I just spent, like, a whole platinum right there, basically. <laughs> Let's see what else. Rope, uh, bombs, uh, purple counterweight, uh... Yeah, we already have a counterweight. We don't need that garbage. Bone torch. Smelling good glow, glow sticks. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll take some. There you go. Just because why not, right? So there you go. Uh... Nah. 
You know what? I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and get like a whole hundred or something crazy. Ah, that was a lot of them, but whatever. <laughs> ah, strange brew, uh... Five silver? I don't know if I want to get that one, but we got the yo-yo glove. We were more than vanity slot. I don't think we can sell ours, because we... Yeah, we exited the inventory slot, unfortunately. Can you... Oh, we can use two, two yo-yos at once! Ooh! If I get two format Cs, though... 46 melee damage. I think that's more than we've ever had in a yo-yo before. We put up the yo-yo we were using beforehand. Format C. You know, I'm going. I'm going to look it up. I'm looking it up right now, and I'm going to see. <laughs> pun intended. Did we have anything better than the format C? I think we had the Cascade beforehand. Yeah, I think we we did. It has 27 melee damage, or 27 damage in general. I think Eye of Cthulhu. There's a yo-yo called the Eye of Cthulhu, and then there's a Terrarian. <laughs> but I guess maybe we can get uh, two of these format Cs, you guys. I'm like, it's 20 gold, 46 melee damage. I'm like, that's that's because of our uh, multipliers over here, I think, right? It says it's supposed to be 35 over there, so 46. I'll take two of them. Hey, if we get to use two of them at once, the yo-yo, maybe I'll finally use yo-yos again, especially if we have the yo-yo gun. It has materials, so we can we can upgrade that even more. Hmm. Well, hey, there you go. Uh, I guess I would get the Spelunker Glow Stick. At, at least the Spelunker Glow Stick is kind of like the uh, Spelunker Potion or whatever. Just that it kind of lasts forever. You know, as long as you have it, is it only works like within range of you two. Wait, what, 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 what was that? Is that a dinosaur? No, that was Medusa. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. I might as well uh, kill fire with fire. Here we go, Medusa. Oh man, I got turned into a heckin' stone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Medusa turned me into stone. I'm going to kill Medusa with Medusa. Is she dead? No, 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 now she's dead, I think. Yep, she's dead, but I'm still stone right now. <laughs> there you go. Two minutes of broken armor. Defense is cut in half. Whoa. I'm down to 18 defense right now. What happened? I don't know what did that, uh, that, that effect on us. That was kind of crazy. We'll have to watch out. Hopefully it wasn't this ladybug. That'd be kind of strange. <laughs> Seal up a little bit. There you go. And here's, yeah, here's a railroad right here. Here's if we can continue following it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we do have adamantite on us. You know, I'm, I'm going to continue doing this. Uh, oh, God, I'm using the repeater right there. I'm going to continue. Oh, well, that ends, like, right there. <laughs> I'm going to use the, uh, the, the firecracker here to try and find some mithril, and if I can't find any mithril, hey, maybe some adamantite, because we found some just a moment ago. Try and get some heckin' good armor out of that, but... For right now, man! Heckin' running into bats and stuff like that. Like, literally just bats. Like, not anything too crazy. <laughs> but, uh, maybe I'll even use that, that teleportation potion a little bit more often. Try and find some more, like, random areas of the map without having to, like, go there myself. Just teleport there. That seems really, really powerful, you guys. But hopefully teleporting around the map, like, randomly like that. Hopefully that's gonna help us find the, uh, the mithril that we need to get the full mithril set of armor. And maybe even start working towards adamantite. So, let me just pause the recording. Keep exploring around the world here, hopefully find some mithril. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. Finally found some making mithril over here. Jeez. Oh, you can actually see the lava, like, as it's pouring. You can see it, like, pouring in this big map here. But this is, uh, I don't know where we even started over here. Oh yeah, I was, like, in the cobweb, like, somewhere over here. But this is where we teleported to, to you know? And, uh, now I'm all the way down here. Finally found some making mithril. It's a pretty, pretty big vein of mithril, and there's even some, like, I think that was cobalt right there, so... That's pretty good. Uh, I didn't even use the... What is it called? The, uh, the... Spelunker glow stick? I don't even think I've used those in a while. I, I accidentally, like, I hit shift with the, uh, smart cursor thing turned on and it, like, equipped it for some reason, but... I found these, like, pretty much just using the flame lash method, which... Or, got the firecracker method, which is really good. So, uh, oh, oh, there's one more mithril right there. I don't know how much mithril we're missing to make a, uh, a full set of armor, you know, to get the, the pants. So, I suppose we could go check that real quick. And if I wanted to get back to this specific area, how far would I have to go? Uh, not too far. I guess we could go... So there's our cap... Oh, whoops. There's our cavern pylon right there. We'd have to... We can almost meet up these two things over here, so that's good. We just need to find another... Ah, oh, man, I forgot what it looked like in this big map. But I need to find another thing of mithril, hopefully. And there's a lot of emerald. Like, every time I see emerald on that big map, it, it's green, but like... Uh, oh, that was sapphire. See, it looks... It, with the lava, like, shining and stuff like that, like, all these colors and stuff look different. So, I always get confused. <laughs> But I do know what the uh, emeralds and sapphire actually are. Jeez. Anyways. Oh, oh, there's another rock golem down there. Whoa. Oh, oh, let's pour lava on his head. Pour lava on him. Is that going to kill him? Is he, uh, I'm, oh, it is. I was about to say, maybe he's not, he's going to be, like, impervious because he's actually a heckin', he's made out of rock or something stupid, so. I guess that's not the case. Let's kill him with the, uh, oh, man, we're actually taking a lot of damage from him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Heal up. Is he dead? I think anything you dropped got heckin' burnt in the lava, though, so that sucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man. Uh, well, let's put up the... There you go, put up a tool. Oh, is there another one around here? Well, I thought I was hearing the same, like, taking damage sound right there. Ooh. And that's the underworld down there. There's a demon over there. Yeah, we haven't... Uh, oh, and there's an imp or whatever over there, too. There's some cobalt. I think that's cobalt, so I'll, I'll need that. See, look at how helpful this flame lash or up. God, this firecracker is. It's really crazy, you guys. It's really, really good. Oh, the blood moon. Eh. We already did a... Oh, and a mining helmet. A keen rat... Wait, what? What's a keen... What is a rally? I guess I'll go see the... Uh, check the void vault here in just a moment to see what that actually is, but... Let's see, let's go. Oh, 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 more mithril. Oh my gosh. I was about to say. I think that's mithril. I'm like, there's a... a glow... Whatever it's called there. It might just be cobalt. Hold on. Cobweb. Yeah, that's mithril. Boom. Take all that. Nice. Grab all that. This is... This is amazing right here, you guys. Grab this. Let's go home. Let's go make ourselves some... And it's being, uh... This is being transported to the void vault anyway. So we need to go home just to get this in the street. Well, I guess we could open up the... I don't know. I've never actually tried it. If we open up the void... Where is it? The void bag? Someone's the void vault. I, I guess it does that, huh? So if I do this... And then, uh... Yeah, okay, okay. That's really good. Oh, man, I even got, like, gold keys and stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, I killed two Tims. Like, I killed a Tim, and then, like, immediately another Tim spawned in. Oh, Keen Rally is a yo-yo, but it's, like, really low level. Hard trifold map? <sighs> Immunity to confi- Wait, what? That's that thing up there. What? Uh... That makes me confused. <laughs> I don't know what that's- Oh, man, we have 109 Mithril Ore right there? Sheesh. Yeah, let's just go home. Then I guess we'll talk to, uh, whatever his name is now. Colin, about, uh, why am I being confused? There we go. <laughs> like, I actually straight up got confused from the, uh, from the thing that's supposed to, like, not make me confused. Uh, oh yeah, it's in the Void Vault itself. Whoops. Hold on, let's do this. Put up all the stuff. Oh yeah, um, I guess we can put on the Yo-Yo Glove. And then we can use two Yo-Yos at once. So, I suppose we'll, uh... Wait, do we need the same yo-yo? I don't think so, right? I think I, I, I might have accidentally bought the same yo-yo twice or whatever there. Even though we didn't need it. Man! Alright, well, let's just go over here. Let's go get the sharpening station. So we can get a little bit of help there. And, man, at least this blood... I'm like the blood... I, oh, yeah, it was the pirate invasion we had a lot of trouble with. The blood moon isn't really too crazy. Why is it, uh... Why is it always summoning in us? Just one of them. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. We got the second one right there. Uh, I don't know if we could have a counterweight alongside this, because we do have a counterweight, which will help out a ton to, like, 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 help us. Because it, it, it kind of, like, spins around in a circle around us, which is really, really helpful. I don't know where I put- oh, yes, in accessories. There it is right there, black counterweight. Uh, put the, I'm not going to be using the wings, at least, during this, right? So there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that, we got the counterweight, and we got the two yo-yos right now. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing! Holy, and it does, like, 40-something damage, right? I think so, something like that. So we have two yo-yos we can actually manually command, and we have the counterweight, I think, right? What happened to the counterweight? Does it have a cooldown or something? I don't know why it's not working. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, now they're going. Hmm, I don't know what's going on with that, but Nudar, or whatever his name is, is heckin' almost dead, so <laughs> I need to watch out for that. You know what, I'm going to go over here, and I'm basically going to treat this as an Eternia Crystal-like sort of thing. And we're just going to be killing a bunch of heckin' critters during the blood- Oh yeah, 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 we have the boss- Yeah, let's just do it over here at the boss arena. I'm like, they keep spawning underneath the boss room stuff, too, so I, I I guess I'll just... Oh, no, we have the clown! I forgot about... Yeah, yeah, look at the uh, look at the thing on the top right. It says there's a clown right there. I'm taking damage from the uh, from the bombs and stuff. There you go. There you guys. Get the uh, the bee gun. He's almost dead. Come on, get him with the bee gun. I'm almost getting killed. I want to stay away from his bombs. That's what. Oh, yeah, we don't have the... Uh, I forgot. We don't have the... the what do you call it? No, Nudar got killed, man. Okay, we killed him with the repeater. That's good. Yeah, we... we all we have is the uh, the double jump. Man! Alright, let's heal up. Let's heal up. And... You know what, let's get the flame lash thing out. Boom. Or, God! <laughs> the, uh, whatever you call it. Jeez, I forgot. Get a- Oh, what? What? Oh, man, I was teleporting me right there. I wanted to get sharpening. There you go, sharpening. Nice. Kill up. Now we get the, the wings back out. Maybe the counterweight isn't isn't as valuable as the, the flying wings are, to be quite honest. So, get the wings. Counterweight. Boom. Alright. Get the yo-yo back out. Man, we're doing a lot of damage to those, like, armor, possessed armor guys. That's pretty good. Nice. Hopefully you're going to get a good amount of my- Oh, no, 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 no! They're, they're, hold on, where's the Medusa head at? There it is, there it is, there it is. Uh... B-Gun, sure. Not that big of a deal, but... Medusa head. There we go, got it. Nice. 900 zombie killed. Nice. And that's all my mana gone. Man! Come on, kill it. Ah, oh, man, it just eats through your mana. I really don't like that at all, but man, we're gonna lose all of our reckon NPCs again. Ah, all right, well, let's go up here. Let's get a cake, sure. Get that cake. Get a sec- uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get a second imp. There you go. 
And we have another- God, we have a lot of these, uh, armored guys over here, though. Sheesh. There we go. Is that it? Can I get another imp now? Boom. Demon staff. Alright, nice. I think we're good, you guys. Alright, well, we, the wandering eye is, like, way too big to fit through our door, apparently, so that's good. <laughs> well, we did lose at least one NPC, unfortunately, so that sucks. But, uh, it's 12 a.m. Yeah, it's going to be a little while until the second blood moon is over, but I think we have it pretty much under control now. Hurtful KO cannon. What? I need to go see what that is. Hopefully that's good, you guys. Sounds like it because it's called, it's called Hurtful. Where is that on here? There it is right there. Fifth, whoa, 58 minutes. Whoa. What? <laughs> it like shoots out like a little fist, like a, like a boxing glove fist. 71 damage. Boom, got him. And it's called Hurtful too, so I think it does more damage. There we go. I don't know how I feel about this heckin' Hurtful cannon thing. <laughs> but... The enemies have kind of slowed down, though, which is good. I kind of want to lead them over here so they'll spawn over here instead of near our base. There we, there we go. Nice. Dripler banner. Yeah, we killed 150 of those so far, so that's good. I don't know. Maybe I'll get the, uh, the yo-yos, because this thing does about as much damage as the yo-yo. Yeah, I think I accidentally got heckin' scammed there by having, by, by, by buying two yo-yos. I don't think I need to have two of them actually in my inventory, right? I think that spawns in the same yo-yo, but twice. I think that's, I think that's what it does. Which will be kind of weird if it required actual two yo-yos, which I guess is also a good thing, because you'd actually be able to have, like, you'd be able to customize it. You'll have, like, one, like, red yo-yo, one black yo-yo, have custom colors and stuff. Oh, what's that? Quick, fast clock. Ooh. I want to see what that's all about here in just a moment, but let me continue killing a bunch of critters. Now you basically have this under control. We only have, like, about another, like, three minutes or something like that of this, so. Uh, I don't know if I'll end up cutting this footage out. Maybe I will. I don't know, but we, we don't have another clown right now. I'm looking at the rare enemies thing. No rare creatures nearby, which is great. And of course, the second yo-yo bounces off of these uh, armored guys and does amazing damage, which is awesome. And we're getting some good money. We haven't died just yet thus, thus far. I'm probably heckin' jinxing myself by saying that, but... <laughs> uh, we haven't died just yet, which is great. So, hopefully we, we, we don't die and we... I'm like, even if we do die, we'll, we can just get our money back. No problem, but we're getting a lot of money. Up to eight gold right there, so hey... Even though we got scammed by two yo-yos there, or, oh god, a clown is back, the clown is back. Hopefully we can use the Medusa head to do some damage to him, or use the repeater to do some damage to him. There you go. No, oh, nice, the repeater's doing a great job. Because we got the Heckfire arrows, we can get better arrows there, and my, yeah, my two M's killed the clown right there, which is good. Had to avoid all of his heckin' bombs there, because he had, like, chatting box, or chat chatterbox bombs, and... Happy bombs and stuff like that, which is crazy. <laughs> Happy bombs like I can kill you. They have like a little smiley face on Joe's crazy. I like it though, it's a good meme. But about another minute and a half, I think. I think 4 30 a.m. is the uh midnight or like the the morning time or something like that for this. So I think I think all we lost was just one NPC, which is great. No rare enemy nearby still, so that's good. I think all we lost was a goblin tank or a guy, which is fine, but hopefully we actually get another one that has a pronounceable name again, right? <laughs> We had one there for a little while that actually had a really good- Yeah, it was like Raz or something like that? Something like that. I, I don't know what it was, but something along those lines. It was like really, really easily pronounceable, but... Then we moved to Nudar, which is still, it's still pretty easily pronounceable, but... I really wish we'd have one like John Smith, right? <laughs> It'd be really easy. But, still no clowns right now, which is good. We have another minute left until this uh, Blood Moon is over. And man, you could already see the comparison. Between the first hard mode Blood Moon to now. I, I already forgot what it was like. I think it was during the 50th episode special, maybe? I don't remember, but I think it was during that. Oh, and I, I wonder if you, there's any, uh... Like, if we go into the sky, if there are any, like, uh, Blood Moon, like, wyverns or anything like that. That'd be really, really cool. But speaking of such, I think those pop up on the rare creatures thing as well. So if I wanted to find those, just, you know, look at the rare creatures thing up at the top right. See if any, uh, if it ever says wyvern, and then boom. And of course, we'll get the Soul of Flight stuff as well. Almost a thousand zombies killed thus far. I don't think we're going to get the thousand just yet. Unless we find, like, 50 zombies in the next 20 seconds, which isn't going to happen. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wandering eye right there. Yeah, they're starting to whittle out right now. And I, I, I think they're all just spawning where I am, so I don't think I have to worry about my base being under attack or anything like that. No, no more clowns, and it's about to turn to daytime here, technically, in... Now. Yep. Now it's turning to daytime, and the Blood Moon is over, so... I guess we survived it, no problemo there, you guys. Nice! See how much money we made overall from that, uh, I think we moved a torch there accidentally, so there you go. So, one casualty, if I remember correctly, we might have lost another one, and I forgot about it savagely. <laughs> Oh yeah, we still have Colin. Yeah, he took a little bit of damage, but thank thankfully didn't die, so that's good. Then yeah, we got the knockout. Yeah, the hurtful KO cannon. 13% uh strong knockback shoots a boxing glove. Yeah, we already saw that, which is a funny meme. Then we have the Medusa head, which is good and all, but 
I, I don't know. I like the B gun and I, I think we could sell one of the format C things maybe. Oh yeah. And then of course we, once we actually get another, uh, goblin tinkerer, we can, we can hopefully modify that thing. Eight gold. Holy heck. We can hopefully modify it to be even better. Hopefully. Right. Sheesh. But we have 20. Oh God. Well, we got eight right there. We got like 13 gold, I think from the, whatever you call it itself, the blood moon itself. And we're back up to, I think it was like 70, something like that gold, right? If I wanted to buy something. Yeah, we're up to 75 gold right there. So yeah, up a little bit right there. We, we did spend like half our gold. So, uh, oh yeah, what was this thing? A mirror to the slow. Hmm. Just add in there. Just, uh, format C. Yeah, so if I put up the format C and I still have the yo-yo glove, that was the use of two yo-yos at once. Am I still able to use the two yo-yo thing? Let's see. Uh... I think I actually do need it. Maybe. Hold on. So I'm not seeing it right now. Let's go get the format C again. And if that's the case, actually, uh, I, I like I said earlier, I kind of like it because it allows you to have customization and stuff like that, right? So it's probably in the same... Uh, I, I I feel like you have to have multiple or enemies nearby, though, for you to properly test it out. Because I'm not uh, seeing two, two yo-yos spawn out right now, though, so... You have to wait till we actually find any enemies, which, thankfully, in one way or another, you can say thankfully, right? We have a, a, here we go, yeah, yeah, there's the second one right there, there's the second yo-yo that spawned in. I guess it spawns in whenever you're attacking something, so... I, I guess we could put it up in the void bag. I guess we could do that, we'll honestly do that. There you go, there's the void vault. We put up the format C. Boom, there you go. And let's go attack something again, and see if it spawns in that second yo-yo again. Or if it actually does. Oh yeah, there it is right there! Yeah, look at that, so we don't even need the second. Man! So I guess it only spawns in whenever you actually attack an enemy, so... I suppose... Oh, no, it probably does the same. Oh, whoa, whoa. Pixie, I guess I'll go kill that thing real quick. I think that drops the Soul of Light or whatever. Oh, Trojan. No, Trojem. I was about to say Trojan. That's kind of a savage name. <laughs> but hey, yeah, or uh, Pixie Dust we get from these guys. Yeah. I'm like, we have a lot of Soul of Light anyway, so I don't think we have to worry about that. But yeah, I guess we can sell one of the Format C or whatever it's called. Oh, wait, isn't that a meme? It sounds like a meme. <laughs> Format C. <laughs> Oh, why would you want a format C? That's your main hard drive on Windows. Anyways, uh, what was I doing? Rocket boot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to reforge the yo-yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to buy, actually buy anything right there. Reforge. I'm like, we have some money. Six gold. Let's do it. Go! Oh, my gosh! Almost said God right there, but <laughs> that would have been a good pun of that. Can you edit this? Make it, make it sound like I said, oh, my God, right there, because it's such godly format. Let's do it. Go! Oh, my God! There you go, nice. But uh, 52 melee damage, what was it at? 47 or something like that? Plus 14% damage, plus 5% critical track chance, plus 15% knockback. It already it had a weak knock, or... Actually, I don't know what it is, because it's it, the knockback thing cha Oh, yeah, okay, it's back up there. It changes whenever it has the modifiers. So we have to go to this one. Yeah, it still says weak knockback, but uh, 52... It was 46, now it's up to 52. 18% critical strikes, that means it'll... Start, yep, 13 right there. Whew, man, that's really, really crazy there, you guys. Holy egg! Put up the uh, quick fast clock in there, as well as the counterweight and the balloon. I guess I'll keep that right there. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want the yo-yo uh, hand thing. I like that. I really do. I don't know about the balloon and the double jump. I I'll put that up for right now. That way, hopefully, I'll incent it'll incentivize me to use this heckin' yo-yo a little bit. Oh man, I hit the wrong button again. It'll uh, incentivize me to use the yo-yo more often. And what could I potentially? Maybe I'll put the flame lash up for right now, just because I haven't used it too often. I use the, the firecracker way more often, Zell Sun Fury way more often. I'll put that down there. And you know what? The flame around, I'll put that up too. I don't think I even like straight up used that at all. So there you go. <laughs> Still need to make a magic uh, thing over here though. Magic ranged and melee chest over here. But I think I'm going to put the balloon. There you go. Put up the balloon. And see if there's anything else I can quick stack. There you go. That got rid of a lot of stuff right there. That's good. Nice. Then uh, Enchanted Boomerang, I'll probably end up selling that to be quite honest. Weapons, uh, is there anything like any trash here? Demonic Blue Moon, 81 melee damage, what? Oh yeah, well the Sun Fury is 92, I was about to say, why am I leaving that there? It does so much. <laughs> but it doesn't do as much as the heckin' Zell Sun Fury with our melee damage, uh, 73 right there, sheesh. And even like the pickaxe goes up too, sheesh. And yeah, the yo-yo does count as melee, 52 melee damage, so maybe I'll put that right there, boom. Yeah, I'll sell the, uh, Heck Wing Bow, there you go, just, I need to start, I, I'm gonna, I have two flare guns, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna sell some stuff, so, uh, there you go, I'll probably sell, like, stuff like the shurikens and the, the chains, and the bomb fish, I don't think I'm gonna be using those, to be quite honest, throwing knives, yeah, breathing rod, I don't need that trash, swordfish, yeah, I already sold that earlier, so I might as well sell that one, uh, that extra one we have right there, 
white paper airplane. <laughs> that was like a meme. I don't know why I still have that. I need to get rid of that garbage. But uh, let me let me sell that. I'm trying to get some money out of it as well to clear our uh, storage space up. There we go. Nice. I don't know if uh, am I going to keep the Nimble and Medusa head? I'm like, I like it. It's an interesting thing. Maybe I'll keep it for right now. I just don't know if I'll keep it in my secondary or my main hot bar up there or what. But uh, definitely want to put up the hurtful KO cannon there. There you go. Spider Fang. Definitely want to go see what we could use that for you guys. Let's put up a good amount of these glow sticks. There you go. Don't need to have like all of them. I'll keep a few of my inventory just, you know, in case I'm mining. I could uh, reveal some stuff around me. But let's talk to wherever he is. Where is he now? Man, I don't know why these guys like never stay in their heckin' rooms and stuff like that. There he is right there. There's Colin. Let's go talk to him about the spider fangs. See what it says about it. Cobweb spider fang gives you a spider nest block. Ugh. Spider staff. 27 cents. What is the imp again? Ooh. 21 with the imp. <laughs> um, there's that number. Sheesh. 21 summon with the imp. And he's a plus 18% damage. Spider staff is 27. But oh, summon spiders to fight for you. It's multiple spiders. 10 mana. And that's uh, a... Well, that, yeah, that just summons it in. Oh, I need 16 spider fangs. I have a uh, six. Ooh. Queen spider staff. Wait, where, how did I, where did this come from? Queen spider staffs, 27 summon damage. Summons a sentry, summons a spider queen to spit eggs at your enemies. That seems like something I'd use. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get this queen, queen spider staff. It has, yeah, very strong knockback, yeah. It summons a sentry and a spider queen. Pfft, don't mind if I do. 24 of those spider fangs. Hold on, is that, the, the biome that we spawned in with that teleportation potion, is that where we have to go? Oh, I bet the, uh... I bet, like, this biome right here, yeah, I bet these... Wait, Adamantite spawned in the middle of that? What? I did not notice that. Oh my god, Crimson spread all the way over here now. Ooh. But yeah, I need to check, like, the, uh, underground biome, like, near a Hecavator and stuff like that. There's Mithra right there on our Hecavator. Why didn't I ever check this? I guess I just assumed that it's only going to spawn, like, really deep down, but... It seems like it spawns relatively high up as well. Nice, there's some Mithra right there. Yep, Mithra right there as well. <laughs> All right, well, we already know where to find some good adamantite, mithril, and more mithril right there. Are you kidding me? Holy heck, there's a lot of mithril there, but adamantite, mithril, there's more adamantite right there. Mm, there may be more around here, but this is a crimson area. It's spreading hardcore. Oh, there's more adam. Holy heck. Oh, speaking of such, let's see if we can make that armor now. Hold on. Where is it? Did I put it up over here? Uh, oh, I think it's in the, yeah, it was, in, it was going into the void vault. So let's loot all that. And then, uh, let's do quick stack. Why isn't I quick stack in the, uh... I thought I already had this stuff in there. I don't know why it's not putting it in there, but there you go. Put those up. Banners and other trash. I don't need that garbage. Five silt blocks. Eh, I guess I'll process those. Sunplate block. What? If I want to see what that is. Uh, spider fat. I'll keep that in my inventory for right now so I can keep track. Because I, I, I want to have, like, 24 or whatever. In order to make the, uh, sky... Oh, this is sky stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I must have broke it. Or it broke something up there and it gave me some of that and I could use it for crafting. Alright. But yeah, I definitely want to keep track of how many of those uh those fangs I have so we could actually use those for making this queen spider summoning thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh I guess maybe I'll get the clothier voodoo doll. I don't know what it does necessarily, but I'll put it over here in the summoning items just because it's a voodoo doll. <laughs> Angry depth meter. Yeah, I don't need that. I'll probably end up selling it to be quite honest. And then it's five silk blocks. Let's see what we get out of it, just for curiosity. Silver, tungsten, lead, copper. And like actual copper currency. <laughs> Let's uh, quick stack. Boom. There you go. And I suppose we'll sell the uh, there you go. The depth meter. The rails. That, I'm like, we're not getting any money out of that. Cobweb, not getting any money out of that. Gravity banner. Uh, I'll sell it. I'm like, it looks cool because it's an up and a down arrow pointing. Kind of like the uh, the little stats effect that was up here whenever I had the gravity potion. So I suppose I'll keep it. Maybe I'll uh, wait, what? Oh, there's right there. Maybe I'll use it here in the future. And then there's the Spelunker potion again. Oh yeah, whatever. Oh yeah. I've got the favorite, the uh, the 10 or so Spelunker glow sticks that I, ah, 15, yeah, sure, why not? Put it like right here, sure, why not? That favorite, there you go, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I think we're good, oh, yeah, Skyward Chest, forgot to put that up, man. It's like in the hot bar. Boom. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to keep the spider fangs in my inventory, put it right there so I can keep track of it. And I think what I'm going to do, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have the mithril now? Oh, yeah, we didn't empty the void, uh, yeah, here we go, loot all, and then let's do it again. Boom, put all that up. Nice. And another mining helmet, which I guess we'll sell. Oh yeah, that was the other format. C. I was about to say, what? Why don't we have that again? <laughs> yeah, I forgot we had two. And then there's the, uh, yeah, let's talk to uh, the guide about the trifold map and what you use it for. Let's see. I hope you guys are proud of me <laughs> for actually, oh, you can buy the plan. Immunity to the slow one. I, I feel like we read something. 
that required this plan thing, and I forgot what it was. Oh, the Ankh Charm, yeah. So yeah, we had a blindfold. The Ankh Charm requires a blindfold, it also requires the plan that we can make out of this, like right now. Also requires armor bracing and medic medicated bandage and a counter curse mantra, which we're probably this is probably this is probably the new Terra Spark boots thing, you guys, where I'm just like, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> so I suppose I, I I guess we can make it. We have the clock. I suppose we can make it and just kind of put it up over here, you know? Because I don't think I'm going to use either of them like on their own. So I suppose we'll uh there's right there is the plan. Boom. Put it up over here and I'll sell that other yo-yo as well. And uh there you go, there's the plan. And mud block, pfft, don't need that trash. Why do I have two nature's gifts? I guess I'll sell this other one there, you know? Just the oh yeah, we have a lot of nature's gifts. Yeah, and I think you can combine it together with a, uh, like a mana potion or something like that. That will automatically, like, eat a mana, drink a mana potion whenever you're low on mana. I think it does that. So that seems like something useful. I, I want to find something that does that, but with like a health potion. I wonder if that's a thing. Might have to literally look that up to find it, right? Whoa! Hold on. Uh, I'm talking to the zoologist right now, and I can buy some more stuff. Tree globe, toss it to change how trees look. Time for a change of scenery. Whoa. World globe, change how the world looks. Time for a change of scenery. So, uh, it's three, I'm kind of curious about it, you guys. What did we do to warrant, and then there's dog tail, dog ears, lightning carrot, someone's a volt bunny, what? Wait, hold on. Equipable, someone's a vo volt bunny. What is a volt bunny? <laughs> is that a pet? Because I don't want to buy this thing thinking it's like a summoning uh, thing that does a lot of damage. Oh, whoa. Is a pet summoning item. Yeah, so it is like the dragon. You know what? Maybe I will end up getting something like that. You know, if we have a lot of money, like 50 gold is a lot of money. I'm not going to buy that. Sheesh. <laughs> but uh, this is available to buy from the zoologist after completing 50% of the bestiary, you guys. I did not think we had that much done. Holy heck. Let's buy a tree globe and let's buy a world globe. There you go. Just kind of see what it does. And I don't think anything up here's changed. Everything up there is still the same. Or, you know, same-ish. Yeah. So I think she unlocked these mounts over here at 25% of the beast gear. And now we're at 50%. Whoa. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Let's do the, uh, you know, let's go buy some trees. Uh, where would they be? Probably to the left. Because all the right is just heckin' crimson, right? <laughs> so let's not go over there. Here, here's, here's some trees. Tree globe. Let's see what this looks like. There's some trees right there. Boom. Oh, God. Ew, why are they all swampy now? I don't know if I like that. Kind of want to change it. World globe. Uh, so what happens if I do this? Ooh, the background changed. Okay. You know what? I like it. Change the scenery. I like it. I wonder if any, like, if we go to the crimson, is that different? And if we go to the desert and other, just any other biome, the background, does it change? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. And by the way, the balloon now is a, a cosmetic, and the quick stinger necklace thing is a cosmetic. I have it there, just, you know, in case I want to switch over to it. Uh, the background for the... Oh, I think it, it might only do it for the biome you're currently in. But the crimson still has, I think, the same background, maybe. I don't know. I'm like, it is nighttime, so you can, barely I can tell. Sheesh. Oh, whoa, what was that thing? Oh, yeah, werewolf. I guess we have a full moon going on right now, huh? I wonder if we have better prices or worse prices with uh, whatever her name is, because we have a heckin' thing going on right now. But we do have a yo-yo. If we want to use this thing against this heckin' guy, look at how much, look at how fast we can drain that guy's heckin' health with this, the double yo-yo there. With the upgrades and everything, holy, oh yeah, we were on a heckin' uh, unicorn right there, shoot. 